Hello, you are watching Internet Comment Etiquette with Eric. I'm Salvia, your host, and today I'm going to teach you how to leave proper and respectful comments on Yahoo Answers. I see we have a Yahoo Answer right here. In dating and sex, have any of your partners ever had a smelly butt? And boy, did that get answered. We always take a shower together and clean each other's butt before we have sex by Bert. Me and my girlfriend both have vile gas. Sometimes we'll go to the grocery store and completely clear out the check stands that stink so bad. Bush did 9-11. I typed that one. Let's find some awesome Yahoo questions and give them some amazing Yahoo answers. Here we go. If you want to blame anyone for 9-11, shouldn't you blame Bill Clinton? And then there's a bunch of words I'm not going to read here. Let's go straight to the answers. Funny how liberals blame Bush for 9-11 and give Hitlery and Obongo a pass on the attack on the anniversary of 9-11. Well, if you want to get technical, you can blame Reagan for funding Bin Laden when he was fighting the blah 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 blah. Ancient aliens are coming. Well, none of those answers really worked for me, so I'm going to leave my own now. Hey guys, I work for the government. I can tell you straight up, those planes were holograms. They weren't even good holograms. Also, the buildings were made of C4, and Dick Cheney hit the detonator button with his ball sack. So, if you want to blame someone, blame Osama bin Laden for selling us the C4, and blame Tupac for the holograms. Check out my source video below for more details. That's my source. And answered! Ooh, and I earned some points. Let's look at another question, and hit him with an answer. Who's more attractive, me or my sister? Holy shit, look at this Yahoo answer, guys. You should be careful posting such things here. Next thing you will see your face eyeballing a camera while a guy's penis is in your butt. Photoshopping, if you didn't get the analogy. Even though what I said could truly happen after hearing about the deep web and all. Okay, I'll give you a good scare. Sorry. Go enjoy your life. All right, well, I'm sure these women are too busy calling the cops right now, so, but I'm still going to answer their question. Yo, you people ever wipe your own ass and find blood on the tissue? That's when I know I'm all fucking done with wiping, you know what I mean? But wait, is it weird that I check after every wipe? Shit, I need to start a new Yahoo answer for this. Go fuck yourselves, you freaks, and post! And you got liked and start a new Yahoo question. Is it weird that I check the toilet paper after every wipe? Yo, Big Money Salvia here. Every time I wipe, I find myself compulsively checking the toilet paper. Do the rest of you people do that, or are you able to just tell once you've got a clean wipe? Also, when you see blood on the toilet paper, does that mean you did one too many wipes? Thanks for answering. And ask! Oh look, I already got four responses. We all check the paper. As for the blood, it's normal just as long as it's not every day week. Boring. No, I wiped that habit out years ago. Stupid. And here's someone who just posted a toilet full of poop. This one's the best answer, thanks. And double answered. Okay, next question. Is it okay for women to fart in class? It's fine for both men and women to fart in class. Yes, it's okay to fart in the class for any gender. It's not okay for anyone to fart in public. <laughs> well, here's my answer. My cousin Ronnie used to fart so loud in class his teacher finally lost it and beat the shit out of him. Mind you, this was back in the day when they still let cops become teachers, so... It wasn't that weird to anyone at the time. Check out my source for the video, and uh, yeah, you guessed it, it's a super cut of dogs farting. And you got answered. Oh yeah, two points. Would you be offended if you found out someone masturbated to your Facebook pics? Yo, I pop nuts all day to Facebook. I don't give a shit if it's like a BuzzFeed video with two hands showing how to make a microwave pastry puff. You can find me straight jizzing like I'm trying to put out a fire with it. The end, bitch. And for the source, I'm gonna hit him with a hippopotamus fart. And answered. Here's someone asking Yahoo Answers to name their child. Name it Yahoo911, by the way, it's a girl. And for two points, oh, what the, zero? Uh, here's another person who mistook Yahoo Answers for their spouse. Do you like the name Grayson for s girl? What the fuck are you asking me for? I'm here for butt wiping questions. The end! And answered. Okay, there you go, now, uh, now I'm getting points. Next question is, uh, ah, this is more like it. Should women wipe their butt each and every time after peeing? Well, here comes Big Money Salvia with the answer. Yes. Absolutely wipe your butt. Wipe your butt every chance you get. An unwiped butt is an untamed butt. Human nature tends to swing back towards the Neanderthalic state of mind when left sedentary. What makes us humans, and what makes us an advanced species, is the ability to wipe our butts of poop. At some point in our evolutionary history, we reached this state of mind where we could no longer continue our days with just poop smeared all over our asses. So what did we do? Well, we solved it. And that's why today we shame those who fail to evacuate excess poop from their butt after pooping. That is our lizard brain saying they will not sustain the future of our species, and we react thusly. So wipe your butt every chance you get, please. Celebrate what you have, and celebrate where you came from. Because remember, there was a time when we had to use our hands to wipe our butts. And I think they still do that in Ohio. My source contains more info, and the source is just the Shrek guy. 
and answered. All right, well now let us end this lesson with a truly hard-hitting question that's on everyone's mind. How many dinglings do you think Ted Cruz has already sucked off in 2016? I'm thinking he probably blew eight dudes so far. And Yahoo ask. Oh, look at that, we already got some answers. Not as many as Mark Rubio. Ooh, I'm gonna give that a like. Gross, this question is a crime against innocence. And you get a thumbs down, fuck you. All right, guys, well, don't forget there is no Yahoo answer to the great question of life. We're all just here to die and make each other miserable in each of our separate pursuits of happiness and all the infinite definitions of what that, that word is, to which we deserve no clarity as we walk down this lonely, selfish, guilt-ridden road that we call existence. Also, please remember to keep asking yourself the greatest Yahoo question of all time. Why me? All right, good night. I'm just kidding. Here's there is a Yahoo answer to the great question of life. It's right here. Fuck, I hope they wiped after that one.